A straggler, a staple of traditional Chinese medicine, is quickly growing in popularity in the anti-aging space. And in this video, we'll dive into some of the benefits of astragalus and see if it's really worth it. Let's jump into it. Hey, welcome back to the Holistic Nootropics YouTube channel. My name is Eric, and on this channel, we discuss using nootropics, biohacking, and nutrition to help you boost your cognition. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. And if you do, click that little bell icon and get notified every single time a new video drops. And if you enjoy the video as we go along, then remember to give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you have any comments or any questions along the way, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond to all of those. And if you are someone who is looking for the best quality supplements and nootropics, then head on over to holisticnootropics.com and download a copy of my free supplement buying guide. This buying guide will walk you through ingredient by ingredient on how to find the best quality supplements and nootropics on the market today. Astragalus is known as one of the most important qi tonifying herbs in traditional Chinese medicine. Ancient cultures have been using this root for years with the belief that it does in fact strengthen the body's main energy source. In the West, it's now being prized for its anti-aging benefits, which actually go far beyond adding years to your life. In fact, a lot of experts with things like astragalus classify this as not just adding years to your life, but really more so adding life to your years. This is important to keep in mind because it's difficult to really quantify if an anti-aging supplement does in fact add years to your life, but you do know if it's helping you feel better. Now within astragalus, there's more than 200 compounds that have been isolated and identified, which include things like polysaccharides, saponins, and flavonoids, which are responsible for the biological activities of astragalus. In terms of basic health benefits, astragalus is a potent reducer of both inflammation and oxidative stress, which just simply adds to its overall wellness profile. It has neuroprotective qualities in that it can protect the brain against excessive inflammation and beta amyloid plaque buildup, which are hallmark signs of aging. There's also some anti-tumor and anti-cancer benefits but it's important to note that these have mostly been seen in research done in animal models. And then of course, there's the anti-aging benefits, which is really what this herb is prized for. This all comes from a compound called TA65, which is isolated from the astragalus root. Now, this compound has the ability to enhance telomerase activity, and of course, this is the enzyme that enhances the length and activity of telomeres in the cells in your body. Telomeres are DNA protein complexes located at the edge of chromosomes, which are necessary for the stability and protection of genomic DNA and prevention of chromosomal fusion. They're involved in signaling pathways, they regulate cell proliferation, and ultimately determine the lifespan of the cell. Over time, these telomeres shorten until they're unable to protect the integrity of the genome, which ultimately leads to cellular senescence, which blocks crucial cellular functions like division and apoptosis. When these senescent cells build up in the tissue, they ultimately jeopardize the tissue's architecture and function and essentially accelerate aging and disease. Because of this, many researchers refer to telomeres as biological clots. Now clinically, TA65 does show promise in lengthening telomeres. One clinical study of 100 older patients diagnosed with cytomegalovirus, which is associated with increased mortality in elderly people, found that low dose TA65 actually enhanced telomere length compared to placebo. It should be noted that this was dose dependent and higher doses of TA65 actually had the opposite effect. Another double-blind randomized crossover trial involving 40 patients diagnosed with metabolic syndrome found that those using TA65 had better outcomes in terms of important markers when it comes to the recovery of metabolic syndrome. So these people using TA65 had things like higher HDL cholesterol, lower LDL to HDL cholesterol, lower BMI, and lower food and carbohydrate intake. And again, these are all important markers to consider when noticing and observing improvements in metabolic syndrome. Now, two important things to consider with these trials. 
Number one, they were both paid for by TA Sciences, which is a company that produces a TA65 supplement. Number two is the fixation on telomere length in terms of longevity. People in the anti-aging space love to use telomeres as a marker for longevity and anti-aging. But even though there are many associations between telomere length and anti-aging, mostly in animal models, simply just lengthening telomeres is not an end onto itself, meaning that just simply trying to lengthen your telomeres does not necessarily indicate that you're going to have longer longevity, especially if you don't fix the underlying markers that may be chipping away at your longevity. Like again, chronic disease and lower overall physical wellness. Even if you are skeptical of the data on TA65, you can still get plenty of anti-aging and health benefits from simply using astragalus. In fact, when put up head to head astragalus versus TA65 in in vitro studies, astragalus actually outperformed TA65 in terms of increasing telomere length. Aside from that, astragalus does show promise in helping to regulate blood sugar and lower inflammation, which are very important biomarkers in terms of anti-aging and longevity. Overall, I really do believe that astragalus does have a ton of great health benefits that should make it a mainstay in anybody's supplement or nootropic stack. Personally, I prefer buying the dry herb from somewhere like Mountain Rose Herbs, where you're gonna save a ton of money by making your own tinctures. It's a little more labor intensive, but I find the benefit and the yield is much more bioavailable than taking it in capsule form. But there are some great capsule forms of it if you do choose to do it that way. And of course, you don't have to spend the time making the herb for your consumption. But let me know what you think. Have you ever taken astragalus? Have you taken TA65? Have you seen any benefits from any of these compounds? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, please remember to subscribe, click that little bell icon. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Peace.